Hi, this is Tweek. Spring is coming, and on this episode of Tweaks with Tweek, I'm going to share with you how I made this crystal bunny. So join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you will need beads. I'm using crystal beads of at least three different sizes. You will need assorted pliers, a cutting tool, a curling tool, some crimping beads. You'll need a four inch head pin. You will need some beading wire. I use the 0.018 size wire. So let's get started. To make this little bunny body, you'll need an assortment of crystal beads. You'll also need to make two half clusters for his feet, two half clusters for his bottom and his head, and a full cluster for the main part of his body. Now I use several kinds of beads to do that and the sizes are here. I use 12 millimeter beads to make the two half clusters. Then the full cluster and another two half clusters I made out of the eight millimeter bead. To get started, we're going to take these half clusters. Now I need two of them, like I said, and this is the 12 millimeter bead. Now if you want to see how to make a half cluster, bead ball. We have a link for that and that's right here. So go there and when you get those done you will need of a different size bead. I made a full cluster and two half clusters. This will be the body, this will be his feet and to learn how to make a full cluster we have a video for that too. Several of them. So click the link here and you'll find out how to do that in a nice slow easy method. All right let's start constructing. Bunny our little example bunny. You sit there and watch, make sure I get all the, yeah, okay. Get all the procedures done right, all the steps. We start out with this wire. Now I'm gonna use quite a bit. I'm probably gonna use too much, but I want enough to work with. And I'm going to use this first bottom and I'm gonna attach the feet. So the bottom of the bunny is facing like a cup and the feet are facing down. Okay. And I'm going to angle them into the body. First, I'm going to come towards the top of the foot and I'm just going to grab a space in one of those top beads and I'm going to start pulling my wire in. So I went through two beads there. Gave myself a lot of wire. <laughs> I'm come through two beads here. And I'm just finding a way to, there we go, hook the foot to the main part of the body. Wow, I really gave myself a lot of wire. <laughs> Here we go. So it looks like this. Okay. What I'm going to do is feed this. Let's try to get a little more even. I'm going to feed this piece through the main part of the body. I can even up my string a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take these two wires. And I'm going to pick a spot here. Now it's a bottom hole, then there's a hole that goes around, and then there's the lip of the cluster. So I'm just going to choose one and go straight through the other side. Actually, what we did here was okay. So the feet are going to be set a little bit in front of his his bottom. So we're going to go through and so they're going through one hole, skip one, go through the next. So now technically that is on there. It's going to stay. Now I want to feed this wire through the other side. So I'm just going to grab one and I'm going to skip the first and go through the second. See, I'm hooching them together trying to make as few knots as possible. And you don't have to worry about the wire because these are made with the crystal and the wire to begin with. So this added wire just blends right in. Okay. And sometimes the wire gets caught on itself. Doesn't want to go through. You just got to be patient. Try to get rid of any little uh, kinks in the wire. The more I use it, the curlier it gets, but that's how it is. So you come through this one here. There we go. 
try not to kink it. So what I've got going here now is I went through, I skipped the first bead and I went through one, two, three, four. And now I'm meeting here. And I'm going to put a knot right there and that's going to hold the bottom together. It might not look like much here, but it, this definitely works. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a knot. I'm leaving, I'm leaving just a little bit of wiggle room because I want him to sit nicely, but I want them to be securely held. I'll show you in a minute. I got way too much wire here, but I say too much is better for making knots than not enough. And with this knot, okay. and you've got him affixed, his little feet are there. Let's get these new really super duper pliers here. Cut. Cut. And what you have is his feet and his body hooked together. Now while we're here, I'm going to try to attach his tail. And the tail also helps to add some stability in case he's a little bit wobbly when you put him together. The tail acts like a tripod to help keep him in line there. So here again, I'm just going to get a little bit of wire. Kind of working from the bottom up on this bunny. Okay, so we have his body. And it might look a little odd the way this works out. But I'm just going to string this little tail bead on. And here again, I'm going to pick a spot. There's a bead here. See, that forms like a, a triangle there. And I'm going to put this through either side of that bead. And then I'm just going to knot it. So it's as simple as that. That little bead is going to hang there. You want to kind of try to keep him in the center so you've got to work that knot as close as you can so that his tail is more even. I like it to try to be even. But you know what? He's a bunny. And it might not be at the right angle, but it's Bunnies move a lot, so let's just call it that. Again, I gave myself too much wire, but I'm going to pull that tight and get some added help with that knot. All right, so clip this off extra. That knot is going to be on the inside of the bunny, so you won't see it again. We've got feet, bottom, tail. What comes next? The main part of his body. In the main part of his body, I'm going to work from the bottom up through. Then we're going to add his head and his ears and his arms. So let's start with the bottom. Flip them open. See how this is all kind of loose, but it's hanging together just fine. I've got to stop that hole somehow, and I'm going to use a finding bead. Okay, that'll work. And I'm going to put this finding at the bottom that will keep everything together. Now, I'm going to get a goodly amount here this time, because I need to have enough to string through his body and do his ears, all with this one piece of wire. And I. I'd rather have longer ears than shorter ears. So I'm going to take this finding and I'm going to push the wire through. I'm not going to go through the center. I'm going to go through either side. There's a hole there and there's a hole just on the opposite. Let me show you. And that way I will have the finding in place. See? And when I push it through the bunny's body, 
Ignore the wires from his feet. Just come through for his body. Get my hands on him. And that sits. See? And nothing's going to come through. And it doesn't impede. If I used a, a thicker one, it might put him off balance. I want him to sit as flat as possible. And the legs and the tail make it like a tripod, so he's going to be secure. Now, to hold that in place better, I am going to add one bead down in that little spot. Let's use, I don't want something too big. I'm going to use this six size bead. I just want something down there to hold the two wires together better. And just to sit down there. See? Just to sit down there and offer a little bit of support because I don't want a big enough bead to impede the main body here. Find a space, go straight on through. If the wires don't um, cooperate, just do one at a time. That's what I'll do right now. Push one through, then the other. So we've got the base, we've got the little bead sitting there, and there's his main body. Ooh, looks like he wants to jump. Next comes his head, or the other half cluster. Now before I put that on, I want to add nose and eyes. I tried and tried to find pink beads for his eyes, but that didn't work out. So we're going to use these pretty little black beads that have a little bit of gold in them. I liked that. So here again, we are looking for, where's the main, I'm so good at hiding my um, knots. Oh my gosh, I can't even find it. Well, that's good then. This is a bigger bead. It should accept more of the wire because I get... I worry about it getting clogged up, but um, we're just going to pick a spot here where there's a triangular shape of the three beads and there's a little hole, a triangular hole between the three of them. That's going to be my main focus. That's where his nose is going to go. The eyes will go in the, in the little sockets on either side. So you find your spot. It's going to be right there. I need some wire. We're going to string his nose and his eyes. Hopefully all with one wire. Because sometimes I've had to do the nose separately. But let's see if I can make this work. So I'm going to come on where the nose goes. And I'm going to come over one bead from that. Pull through and then go to the next bead. So I'm going one bead away from where his nose goes. Okay. And then I'm going to add the bead. That will be his nose. And that's going to be this little orangey bead. Okay. Then I'm going to come back to the next bead. String through. That sets his nose in place. I'm trying to work the wire so it goes on either side. As long as it's staying there, that's good. Okay, then we're going to go through one more. So what we've done though, so far, we've gone through two beads off from the nose. Pull the wire through. Now, we're going to take this spot and we're going to go straight up and angle towards the spot right above the little triangular space for the nose. It's another one there. So before I run the wire up there, I'm going to add an eyeball. And the eyeball is going to sit right in that little socket. See? And then I'm going to send this wire down that little hole, which will put the eye in place. I'm worried about I'm not giving myself much uh, much wire. Let's use it. Pull a little more. Oh, well, we'll make do. Okay, go down that space. There it is. The eye isn't set, is set in place, and now I'm going to come off the other side, string the bead, and we're going to go down the same hole for this side wire. So you've got the two wires coming out the bottom, and you've got the two eyes set in place, and that's his face. Now I've got two tighten this up here 
I have them both going down the same spot. So if I put a knot there, you know what I think I'm going to do is do it this way. I want, I think the knot would pull through. So I'm going to take a little bead for added insurance. I'm going to put the bead down one side. This won't show. And then as I make my knot, that bead will stop the knot from pulling back through his face. You see how we did that all with one wire. And give a nice tug. Really tighten that as best you can. Push him down on that bead. We'll see how it works out here. The bead's nice and reflective and you just won't see it, but it's there to help that knot to keep the eyes in place. See? Good. Okay, I'll snip that. Goodbye bead we'll never see again. There's his little face. Now we're going to add his head to his body. So I'm going to add another bead, one of these elongated beads, crystal again, just to help fill the gap. And it, think of it as like giving him a neck, because that piece fits into that slot there, snuggles into it. And then when you add the head on, there, it rests a little bit better. Oops, what happened here? Oh, I went between the beads. There, that's better. Oh my goodness, you're kind of a bad bunny, aren't you? Now, to keep that from fuddling around too much, I'm gonna add another bead. I'm gonna go for another size of what we had here. Yeah, okay. Okay, here comes the fun part. <laughs> Think for added insurance, I'm going to put a crimping bead now. Uh, if you end up with a little more lop-eared, flopsy-eared bunny, that's absolutely fine. This is kind of where it gets fun, because I never really know, if you look at the bunnies I've made, never really know how the ears are going to turn out. Anyways, I'm going to take that crimping bead and push tight against. I want to really hold his body all together. I'm going to crimp. Look at Hello, little bunny gonna go hopping around. So far, so good. His head's a little bit poseable. Now we've got all this hanging around and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna beat it up and that's gonna become his ears. Now this is all up to you as to how big you want this to be. You can make really long and they'd flop over. So before I start stringing these beads, I'm gonna put another crimping bead down. Both wires go in, crimping bead awaits, All right? So that's what we're going to hook into when we get done beading. So either side, I'm going to do these little six millimeter beads and I'm going to do oh, 20 or so per side. Whatever you do on one side, do on the other. We've got 25 beads on this side. I'll let that rest. Come over here and put 25 beads on this side. All right, so I've got 25 beads on either side. And we'll take the one side. They can rest for a moment. I'm going to push this wire through that crimping bead. Here we go. Okay, and just pull it through. Pull it down. Okay. Do on the other side. Oh, I do not want to unstring them again. So I take this one. And push it into that crimping bead. Ooh, is this a little flap beard bunny? And just try to pull each one as tight as I can pull them so that they meet. 
And then it's just a matter of crimping that bead. So I'm getting them tight. Ooh, it looks like I do have a flop eared bunny. That's kind of funny. Don't mind it though. So I'm going to pull it tight as I can. Each wire. And I'm going to hang on and crimp it. Are you going to be a flop eared bunny? I think I said the bigger bead makes more of a flop, and I think that might have been what happened here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Cute. And I'm just going to snip off close those two wires. What do we got here? Are you all done, Mr. Bunny? Oh, my goodness. Let's work on his arms. Okay, we take a four inch pin. I'm gonna look at him this way. A four inch pin. We're gonna use the same size beads as I did for his ears. And I'm gonna use a couple beads here to be his hands or to represent his paws. So I'll string one onto the wire, the bead pin. And then I'm gonna load that up with, let's see, we're gonna use the same size six millimeter beads that we used for his ears. So we've got six beads there, and I have to measure, okay. Okay, try one of the holes right there. Come out the side right there. There we go, that works. Now we need six more of these guys. <laughs> He's got little short arms. I see right here, I'm thinking, are we gonna have room for his paw? <laughs> There's his paw. And I've got just the tiniest bit left to put a little hook there. And that's going to help keep the beads on. And you could, if you wanted to, add something like he could be holding a little present or a charm. So I'm just going to put a little hook there right at the end. And I'm going to crimp it a little bit more. Okay, that keeps that on there. How you doing, Bunny? He's got your little flap ears and your little hands, little teeny arms. <laughs> okay, this is funny. There he is. <laughs> I think because I used bigger beads, he ended up with shorter arms. <laughs> but that is so cute. <laughs> what do you think? And there you have it. We've got our bunny. Do you want to see a few of his friends? Because I, like I said, the size bead determines what size bunny you get. He's a little flapsy eared too. He has a little bit different eyeballs. And these are the ones I really like these ones because I happen to find a little teeny bead for his little teeny nose and a little blue eyes. So you can see all of them are sure to make you giggle. <laughs> and there you have it, our short-armed little bunny, ready to bring giggles to anybody that hops his way. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, get making those cluster halves and holes and you can make your very own springtime bunny. Isn't he adorable? See you again!